Explain something to me. Why, why are tattoos so important to so many inmates? You know, um, it's really hard to say. So, sometimes I think maybe it's a, you know, a status symbol maybe or a fashion statement, whatever. Uh, people uh, wear their attitudes on their arms, I guess you'd say, in a lot of cases. Um, you, have, uh, you have people that are proud of their neighborhoods, you know, families, um, heritage, uh, you know, all kinds of different things. Some people just want the art. Other people don't care what they get. You know, it's uh, just something to say they were in prison, you know, the tough guy image and all that. Can you give me a little bit of an understanding as to, as to how you do it, what you use, what your tools are? Uh, well, we make, uh, our, we make tattoo guns, you know, out of uh, like Sony Walkman radios, you know, the little tape players. You know, we use the motor, use ink pens, uh, utilize paper clips, guitar string, and, uh, you know, tape and rubber bands. A lot of us make our ink um, because uh, real ink's hard to find. You hear a lot of concern about health issues when you when you talk about prison tattoos. Um, you know the health issues. Unfortunately, not a lot of people practice any kind of sterilization. You know, um, which causes you know you know the spread of hepatitis and so forth. I worry myself about contracting things or passing it on those. You know, as it stands now, my liver's in pretty bad shape. It's failing on me. And I don't want to pass anything I may have on to somebody else, you know, and vice versa. So I use, uh, you know, I use I use equipment on one person only, you know, and then if I work on somebody else, I use some, a whole brand new setup, you know. I use the same motor and so forth, but it's all different needles and barrels. I never reuse ink or any of that. And I was talking to you before about payment, and you were saying, you know, this is kind of a poor man's operation here. Uh, it is. You know, we're all in low income bracket in here. And, uh, um, you know, you can't really uh, you can't really tax people in here like you do out there, you know, when you're uh, tattooing. You know, because most, most of us are come from poor backgrounds, poor families, you know. And uh, a lot of us have children, man, that are being supported by wives, you know, because we're not there. So, you know... Payment. I work with all monies, you know, on on the basis that all money's good money. I accept stamps, cosmetics, whatever, you, you know, that's available to me, you know, um, or whatever anybody can work with, you know. And, and I'm easy with people. I'm not out to rob anybody, you know. If I do a back piece, like a full back piece, in here I'm charging anywhere from 100 to 200 dollars, you know. And I work out payments with people, you know, where it's easy to, you know, easy on everybody. If they see you doing it, if they know you're doing it, you're in trouble, right? Well, in, in, in theory, yes, and, and sometimes in practice. It, uh, it all depends on, on your staff. You have, to, you have to kind of pick your shots, you know, when you tattoo and when you don't in here. Um, sometimes, they're, you know, sometimes they're, they, turn a, they turn a blind eye to you.